Okay, I was lucky. I got the snag, a 2020 Altiplex in camo, and I bought it from a, a private party, a retired police officer, really cool dude. Anyhow, um, they stopped making the uh, all tents in camo. z -Pack stopped making the camo. And it's July 2020. Later on, they're going to offer uh, some new colors. Look at that. The uh, Tyvek is slipping out without gear in there. They're going to offer some new colors. It's really windy right now. And with a pretty tight pitch with only six stakes, you can see it's a pretty solid tent, especially when you got your gear holding that floor down. My son's trying to keep my cat away because you got to keep cats and fire and sparks away from Cuban fiber. In any event, um, I'm really glad to have another one of these tents. My oldest son is 6'4", and pretty soon this guy will be pretty big. He's already almost taller than me. In any event, uh, like I said, I was happy to get another one. That's how happy I was with my 2020 Altiplex that I've been using. And, uh, you know, my sons will join me occasionally, uh, but usually they're chasing girls. So I know that when my tent eventually wears out in one or three seasons, because, you know, we... We backpack 30 or 40 times a year. Uh, I'll have another one in the wings ready to go at one pound, 1.16 ounce, 16.1 ounces. It's a pretty good tent. And it fits in the front pocket of my backpack with that Tyvek with the pole extender and with my stakes. And it makes it really accessible when I get into camp. I really like this tent. And I want to thank guys like Tuba Solo and uh, the Darwin um, <clears throat> Rakestra for uh, bringing it back to the market. Too bad they didn't keep it in production in camo, but like I said, z -back scrapped all camo tents. Anyhow, this is a solo backpacker. Thanks for checking this out.